Kendra. But Kendra works with Allison. She is a nurse. And whenever she found out that Allison is a guest and we're going to get married, Kendra said, well, on one of my bucket list items was that I wanted to marry someone. And we said, well, hey, this is the perfect opportunity. So three months. Okay. Yeah. So Kendra got ordained here in Texas. So she is legitimate. This is going to be legitimate. And, uh, was the other thing that you wanted to baptize somebody? No. no Here's a hot dog. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, give you a little background. Yeah. in this world than finding the people with whom we feel safe, secure, and most ourselves. We search to find the person most accepting of our flaws, the person most encouraging of our dreams, the person who is always going to be there for us, and the person who accepts us for who we are, including our weird idiosyncrasies and insecurities. <laughs> <laughs> but most of all, we search to find the person who loves us so unconditionally that we simply can't do anything but believe it. Now, I've not known John for that long, but in the time that I have, I've found that he's genuine, patient, supportive of Allison's ideas, and utterly smitten with her. He seems to pull out a comfortableness and a softer side of Allison that I've never seen. A side that fits her very well. <laughs> <laughs> very much well. And I'm very glad that you found it. It also genuinely makes me smile to see you two together. Now, Allison I've known for a little bit longer. Uh, I remember joking one day at work, and I said, okay, what do you see in your ideal husband? And she looked me dead in the face and said, well, he's got to be 6'4". <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> well, as fate would have it, you do have good luck, and you proved me rather wrong on that one. <laughs> as your relationship grew on, I remember that, that nervousness and that uncertainty that came with it, you know, that worry that you get with any of your relationships, the what if and what's going to happen, and kind of working through that. But as y'all got to know each other, I watched as that uncertainty and that, that scared, that worry, it turned into understanding and confidence. It turned into trust and love. So uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 7 says, that love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, and it is not proud. It does no wrong, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, trusts, hopes, and always perseveres. Love, trust, and understanding are the key element in any relationship. Uh, Alice and John have asked that the next three be read uh, scripture-wise. Uh, the first one being uh, Song of Solomon 2.16, My beloved is mine and I am his. Hosea 2.19, I will betroth you to me forever. I will betroth you in righteousness, in justice, in love, and in compassion. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them shall fall, down one can pick the other up. 
but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep each other warm. But how can keep one should themselves warm if they are alone? Through, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A quarter of three strands is not completely broken. So, John, have you come here freely without reservation to give yourself to Alice in the marriage? Do you, John Richard, take Alice and Margaret to be your wedded wife, to cherish in love and in friendship, in strength and in weakness, in success and in disappointment, in sickness and in health, to love her faithfully today, tomorrow, and as for long as the two of you shall live? I do. Allison, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to John and Mary? Do you, Allison, take John to be your wedded husband, to cherish in love and in friendship, in strength and in weakness, in success and disappointment, in sickness and health, to love him faithfully today, tomorrow, and for the longest the two of you I live. John, do we have rings? Close the reader. Close the reader. Repeat after me. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Allison, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. John, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. And now by the power and pest of me and the great state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife.